Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is Joseph back here with another Lego Star Wars video here today. And today guys, we're going to be talking about the top 10 most expensive Lego Star Wars minifigures in 2021. In today's video, the minifigures are going to be from sets that are mass produced. So no chrome minifigures, no rare metal minifigures, and no Comic Con or stuff like that kind of minifigures. So let's get right into the video, shall we? Starting out at the 10th most expensive mass-produced LEGO Star Wars minifigure here, we have Pre Vizsla from Star Wars The Clone Wars. This minifigure came out in 2012 in set number 9525, which was the Mandalorian Gauntlet Fighter, I believe. And if you want to buy this minifigure new, it's going to cost you $114.56. So already, somewhat expensive, pretty expensive actually for a LEGO Star Wars minifigure. Moving into spot number 9 here, we have Jango Fett with an angry face. This minifigure is not very common. It came out in 2017 with set number 75191. So it's a fairly recent minifigure. But if you want to buy this guy new, it's going to cost you $119.08. The reason it is expensive because, you know, this typical Jango Fett minifigure and armor stuff is pretty recent. So it's not that rare, right? So that minifigure is normal, right? But because it has the angry face, it is that much more expensive, which is pretty crazy to think about. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Moving into the 8th most expensive minifigure for today's video, we have Jedi Bob, or just Jedi Knight, whatever you want to call him, right? He came in 2002 in set number 7163, which I believe was a Republic gunship, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but if you want to buy him new, it's going to cost you $119.62. So he's only a little bit more expensive than Jango Fett, but still a pretty cool and iconic minifigure, and he's going to cost you over 100 bucks either way. Moving into spot number 7 on today's video here, we have one of the coolest minifigures in today's video in my opinion, and that is Captain Rex with his face to armor. I do deeply regret not buying this minifigure when he came out in 2013 with set number 75012, which was a bark speeder with a like co-pilot type set with some commando droids right and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Pretty sweet set. I did not get it. I wish I did because now this Captain Rex is worth $124.74 brand new. I even made a video about him a few months ago, I remember, and he costed about... Like a little over $100, I want to say, but now he's at $124, so yeah, he's only getting more and more valuable. Moving into spot number 6 here, we have Ahsoka Tana from Star Wars Rebels. She came in set number 75158, and this was in 2016 when it was released. Now, I actually did buy this set, so I do own this minifigure, so that makes me happy, because right now, she's valued new at about $129.47, so again, another very expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigure. Getting past the halfway point now, at spot number 5, we have Jango Fett. To be specific, the original Jango Fett from 2002. He came in set number 7153. And right now, if you were to buy him new, it would be $249.33. So pretty expensive, a pretty big jump also from spot number 6 to spot number 5. Pretty sick minifigure though, I can't lie. At spot number four here, we have Lando Calrissian with his Cloud City outfit with smooth hair from 2003 and the Cloud City set, which is set number 10123. If you want to buy Lando new, it's going to cost you $277.28. So again, very, very expensive. Moving into spot number three, we have another Lego Star Wars minifigure from that Cloud City set. This is Luke Skywalker from set, obviously, 10123 in 2003. If you want to buy him new, it's going to cost you almost $300 at $297.43. A pretty sick minifigure, I can't lie. A lot of coolness and nostalgia from this minifigure, but it is pretty, pretty expensive, I can't lie. Now, I'm not going to lie, whenever I was making this video, I did not expect this minifigure to be here at spot number two. This is the Resistance Bomber Pilot Finch Dallo from set number 75188 in 2018. This is obviously the most recent minifigure on today's video, and that's because he was in the Resistance Bomber set, right? And uh, he was in that set only for a temporary time, and then he was removed and replaced. Um, again, as to why LEGO did that, I'm not exactly sure. I don't really remember too much about that whole story, but regardless though, he was in the set only for a temporary time and then was yanked and pulled from it, right? So kind of interesting how he's so expensive. I knew he was valuable, but I did not know that he was worth $410.18 brand new. Pretty sick story, pretty sick minifigure, but wow, I was not expecting this at spot number two. Regardless though, guys, at spot number one, the most expensive mass-produced LEGO Star Wars minifigure ever by far was Boba Fett from Cloud City with printed arms and legs. Obviously, he appeared in 2003 in set number 10123, and he is just the most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigure in today's video by far. He cost nearly $1,300 brand new at $1,299.83. In fact, to buy him used, it's going to cost you $800.04, which is almost twice as much as the minifigure in spot number two, which is Finch Dallow. So that's actually insane. What a cool minifigure, though. 
Anyways, though, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Huge shout out to Brickset.com for the price values of all of today's minifigures. I have to admit, spots number one and two were pretty insane. Boba Fett at 1300 bucks is crazy, and Finch Dallow being just one of the more expensive mass-produced LEGO Star Wars minifigures still blows my mind. Regardless, all of the minifigures in today's video were cool. And if you guys like seeing this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more. Have a fantastic day, my friends, and I'll see you all next time on Texas Bricks. Take care, y'all.